Hey YouTube, this is Comic Hero 77 back with another Comic Call video. This is Comic Call video number 8. Um, all these comics that you'll be seeing in this video are purchased off of eBay. I think I got a really good, great price actually for a lot of them. I don't have many, I only have five books, five comics today, but uh, four of the five are first appearance, and the fifth one's a really cool Golden Age book. Um, so we're going to jump right into this one. I am happy, really happy to show you this. This is the X-Men number 14, which is the first appearance of the Sentinels. And um, some of you may or may not know that about a year and a half ago, X-Men Days of Future Past came out. And this was really hard to get. Almost, you know, it was ridiculous some of the prices that this comic was going for. Um, I got this for about 50 to $52 on eBay. Um, it's about a me. I my opinion, I didn't have a grade on it, but I think it's about a five point five, um, which is a VG slash uh, fine. Um, but it, I could see some people grading this at a five point five, which is a five minus. So I'm really super stoked to get it for the price that I did because when the movie came out, in this grade it was anywhere from like. 80 to 100 dollars and possibly slightly more um but i got this for 50 to 52 dollars i mean it was just great i'm so happy to have this first appearance of sentinels for 50 dollars all day any day i'll pick them up uh another great comic this is megaton man uh megaton not megaton man megaton number three this is the first appearance of savage dragon um this has got a really interesting story um Eric Lawson created him back in the late, about 80s, late 80s, um, early 90s. Um, the interesting part about this is he, him and uh, two other friends created a fanzine comic called Graphic Fantasy Number 1 and 2. And 1 and 2, uh, there was more, I think it was three issues, but uh, 1 and 2 were the first appearance of the dragon. But not as we know him today. He was like, Savage, you know, the dragon that he did was like an emperor of a, of a, like an alien race, and I think it was stuff like that, and it was a police force, and you know, it was slightly different. His wife died or something like that, but in Megaton three, he bought him, brought him back, and I think this is around ninety, nineteen ninety, but he did. This is like, even though it says you know, Vanguard versus the dragon, this is uh, considered the first appearance of the Savage Dragon. The Savage Dragon that we know, uh, the police officer, you know, really cool. Um, I'm really happy to get this. I got this for 50 bucks on eBay. Uh, it's about a 9.2. There is a color break, a very small color break on the corner here and on the spine. Uh, I don't know if you see that, but I'm really happy to get this. And I'm a real big fan of um, Eric Lawson and the Savage Dragon. But if you can get this up, you know, pick this up, Megaton 3, first Savage Dragon, as we know him today. You know, it's really cool. Very cool. This is the Golden Age book. Ace Comics number 106. I have 107. Uh, the reason why I picked this up, um, Ace Comics, uh, I, I, have a, I have a Golden Age video and I talk about Ace Comics or just Golden Age books in general. Um, how they would have multiple characters under one title and uh, in this title in the back pages is the phantom and i'm a big fan of the phantom i love the phantom um i get golden age phantom any day all day um he was created by lee fall and um he first appeared in comics he was around already but in comics he was introduced in number um ace comics number 11 but he's not appear. He doesn't appear on the covers until like 143, and from 143 to 150, all of those are phantom covers, and they're really hard to get. And I'd like to get those. But for now, uh, these backstories, you know, with him in the backstories, uh, I don't mind. Um, this is about a 2.5 VG plus. It might even be a 3.0, which is a G slash VG. But, you know, I got it for $13 on eBay. I thought it was a really good price, so I'm super happy to get it. 
So my next two books, they're CGC graded books. This is the first appearance of Longshot, or Longshot miniseries number one, um, created by Arthur Adams. I believe this is Arthur Adams' first pro work, if I'm not mistaken, either. Um, CGC 9.6 on eBay. I got this for $42. Really happy. My brother turned me on to Longshot in the uh, in the 80s. Um, he's got an interesting power. He has the power of luck. Um, his mutant power is luck. Um, so if he's in a tight situation, you know, surrounded by enemies and stuff, he has the probability of shifting it to his side, um, which is pretty awesome. So I'm super stoked to really get this for $42 on eBay, 9.6. I mean, I'm super happy. Really, really great stuff. And Longshot's a great character. Um, they don't really do anything much with him. But if you want to check out Arthur Adams, he's got some great work. He's just a great artist. It's really cool. Um, last but not least, happy to get this. CGC 9.4. First appearance of Bane, which is Batman Vengeance of Bane. If you can pick this up, get it. During the Batman Rises movie, which appeared, uh, which you know Bane played an appearance in, this book was on top. This book was going for ridiculous prices. I know nine four, and especially in a nine six and a nine eight. Um, but it's it's chilled out a little bit. Um, I got this for forty nine dollars. I've seen it go for 63 and 70 and a little over 50. So to get this for $49 and 9.4 in this grade, um, really great. So I'm really happy to get this 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 book. Super happy. Um, yeah. So if you have a chance, if you're a big fan of Bane as I am, you might want to pick this up. Just just a really great comic. I love it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bring back the first Sentinels book because I think that's a great book here. Yeah, there we go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, it wasn't a lot, like I said, but I I, I think it was some really great, potent stuff for really great prices on eBay. And um, um, so I hope you guys leave some positive comments and um, some likes. So thank you, YouTube. Uh, thank you, comic fans. This is Comic Hero 77 signing out.